What's up gang, it's Noodle again, and today I'm bringing you a quick little guide to crafting in Project Diablo 2. We have a mini season here where it's only magic, rare, and crafted items, and I think some of these crafted items are gonna play a huge role for most of the builds out there. This is intended to give everybody a solid, basic level of understanding to crafting to get you started, so without too much more of a delay, let's get to the action. To start, I will talk a little bit about the early levels, but in reality, there isn't a whole lot of crafting you should be doing until about 71 and up. The reason for this is that not only will you be using up a lot of your materials for these things, but you also have a high chance to roll less stat combos or affixes. Even though there aren't rune words such as spirit, stealth, and lore, you should still be able to cruise through normal and nightmare just fine using magics and rares. Once you get up to hell or get around 60 plus, you can start to craft if you need to get by, because at level 60, you would have a 20% chance to hit the maximum affixes on PD2, which is four. Otherwise you will get three, which is still just fine to really get you started farming. The real magic happens at 71 plus on the item and character level, because that is when you guarantee the full amount of affixes on your crafts. There's a little more to them for the later levels, but I'll make a high end crafting video to pair with this one later on. With this knowledge, let's take a look at what crafts I would recommend for whatever you're playing. If you're playing a caster, the most important and first thing I would recommend is a caster weapon. As a base, caster weapon crafts will always have one to all skills, 10 to 20 FCR and some mana. In addition to that, depending on what class you're playing, they can roll various things like two to Sork skills on an orb, as well as plus to a skill like Nova or Fireball. Here's a couple of examples of what it could look like, as well as a bunch of ways that it could potentially not go in your favor. But imagine slamming something crazy on one of these, like plus one to all skills or whatever. Shields are in the same realm where they can get plus to skills on them too, so this ends up being a solid replacement for something like Spirit. For the rest of the crafted caster gear, almost every piece has FCR on it, so if you're looking to hit any breakpoints, you can craft things like amulets, which can actually be insane, but you can also do gloves, belts, helms, and chests. If you're planning to play either a melee class or a thrower, there's a few options on the weapons. The first one is of course the blood craft, being up to 80% ED as well as life and life steal, but if you're lacking in the AR department, you could also throw down a hit power weapon. These have the same 50 to 80 ED that the blood crafts have, but also have some negative target offense. If you're planning to target farm something like chaos, for example, there's a vampiric weapon which has 75 to 120% damage to undead and demons. I have not seen anyone use that yet, so it'd be pretty cool to see people start using this, especially knowing that it can roll ED like this one. If melee isn't your thing and you're the masochist who wants to play a bows on for the mini season, they've got you covered with the safety craft. This is for bows and crossbows only and yields 70 to 140 ED with 10 to 20 increased attack speed and some flat damage reduction. These can actually roll Amazon skills too on top of the bow and crossbow staff mods, so there's a chance of getting something insane for Ellie Bozons. For the rest of the gear on all the attack rating based builds, you can take a look at the hit power amulet, gloves, and helm for a solid boost to your AR. Otherwise, the blood crafts have some great mods like lifesteal on every single thing, crushing blow on the helm and gloves, and even open wounds on the belt for those high regen uber boss kills. And lastly, for the shields on most classes, you'll have to craft a ton of caster shields in hopes that you'll get one with the desired class skills like I did on that barbarian one from the first section. This crafting league mini ladder is definitely going to be a lot of fun, unique, but also complicated, and I'm seriously looking forward to all of it. Do me a favor and subscribe if you have already and like this video so more people can see it because I'm sure there's a huge portion of the community who can benefit from one part of this or the other. I stream all of my leveling, farming, and uber operations live on Twitch quite a few times a week, so if you're looking for some live interaction and entertainment, make sure you follow from the link in the description down below. There will be a few other helpful links like one to the Noodle Gang Discord where a lot of us have been hanging out lately, so don't be a stranger and come on in. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Happy grinding travelers, and I'll see you in the mini season.